Marhaba ya shabab, which means hello and welcome, ladies and gentlemen, in Arabic. Um, I hope you saw the previous video regarding the overview, what we are going to do in this tutorial series. And I would say, let's start. Yalla. Okay, first, let's start a new project. So. First, as you can see, you can use here the Spring Initializer, but um, if you're not using IntelliJ for whatsoever reason, because it's a really pretty good IDE, I would just say go to um, Google and write Spring Initializer, here it comes, and then you can do basically all the steps that I'm going to do here here in this spring initializer. But I will do it now in the IDE. And of course, the, all the source code will be provided in GitHub, so you can just basically clone the repository and yeah, can do whatever you want. So, but if you want to follow me along, I will just name this project as task app backend on YouTube because there is also um, an extra repository for the um, written part on medium.com. And yeah, okay, language is Kotlin. We will use Gradle for Kotlin. Um, these things we can leave as it is. I'm using JDK 17 and Java 17. So make sure these things are checked out for you as well and I would say now let's continue click on next oh we can use as you can see we can use um, the newest Spring Boot version which is 3.0.1 okay mm, now I will you take um, Spring Web uh, Spring Data JPA. There we have it. Uh, we will use a Postgres database, one for production, which will be run on Superbase, and we will use one Docker image for local development. Later, we want validation and. Uh, we will also use just for testing purposes the H2 database. Okay, I think that should be it. Let's create the project. As you can see, this takes now a few minutes. And yeah, I would say. I would just I would stop the video right now. Um, check out the description. There will there I will provide the, um, the link to the GitHub uh, repository. And see you in the next one. So, ilalika.